Today is day 10. Welcome to Keto Alicious, everybody. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some things that'll make it easier for you to stay on the keto diet. Um, <clears throat> so some of the things that I use, I'm just going to pull out of my kitchen. And first things is probably uh, flour. You want to stay away from flour, uh, corn meal, corn flour. And you want to gravitate toward something like this that's almond flour. I don't have a bag that says coconut flour, but I use coconut flour. Uh, I use, use psyllium husk. You can get this at any, usually at any drugstore, or local store. I think I got this at Walmart. And then I use a lot of cocoa powder. I get um, an organic cocoa powder. And the way that you keep track of or know how many net carbs you're getting, if you take your total carbs per serving on the back of these, look for dietary fiber and look for sugar alcohols. When you take your dietary fiber and your sugar alcohols, you deduct that, subtract that from your total calorie or your total carbohydrates, and that is the net carbs. And I stay with 20 net carbs per day or under. And so that's how I keep track. I also am a avid believer on Carb Manager app. I punch in everything that I do. It has a little scan. You can actually scan the bottom of these and if it's in with them, you, um, you've got this into your Carb Manager. So everything that you use on a daily basis is super easy to just punch it in and it pops right up. I also use uh, chai seeds. I use uh, flaxseed meal is another one. Uh, that's really good for breads. I also use hemp seed. Those, so, you know, you've got some different types of flowers. Uh, there's a couple others out there that people have talked about. I haven't, I haven't used. I stay with this because this is working for me and I feel good, and I know that I'm within my net carbs and my total carbs. As far as sugars, I use a product, um, you can use erythanol. I use a product called Swerve. They have it in granule, brown sugar, and they also have it in powdered sugar, which is amazing for frostings and um, different things that you're using for desserts. Um, this one has been one of my favorites. It's from Now, and it's Better Stevia, and I love the English toffee for my coffee in the mornings. They have all kinds of different um, flavors. This is another one that I picked up. It's, uh, let's see, naturally flavored liquid stevia. I think I got this at Whole Foods. And it's a chocolate flavor, and I, it's a nice change for your coffee or desserts to add some extra flavor. And then my old Reliable, I use these to make all of my fat bombs and my desserts and just to grab a handful as a snack. Um, you can find these, uh, you know, I can put the link down below where I get them, but... Um, this has been my big go-to. Now you guys can make your own too. If you start feeling like this stuff is too expensive, you can you can purchase you know dark chocolate, and you can you can actually buy a mold and put stevia in it and pour them into the uh, chocolate chip mold, and then you've got them. If you you know if you want to save some money, that's fine too. Pastas and rices, I've taken those out and I've added zoodles or uh, noodles that are vegetables. There's a couple other products. I actually make my own noodles, which is super easy. There's a couple recipes on my blog. Um, but you can, um, you can also purchase hearts of palm. And I have cut hearts of palm into like long strips, boiled them really fast and thrown those in. Those are great for um, a quick pasta. There's also a product out there. Um, I think it's called New Heaven. I'll have to check, but it is a cone jack root, which is um, kind of another um, 
another family for the psyllium husk. It's a fiber. And they've actually made uh, pasta with it, and you can boil it, and you can use it for many different things. Um, I have not tried that yet. I do have actually one on order, so when I get that, I'm going to make making a recipe and maybe doing a, a review on the product. Um, as far as, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee here while we're, while we're visiting. Hmm. Cheers, everybody. So my oils that I use, um, I use extra virgin olive oil. I use macadamia nut oil. I also use avocado oil. That's probably one of my favorites, that and the macadamia nut. It just gives kind of a unique flavor. If I'm not a big lover of olive oil taste, but I know it's good for you too. And then of course my old reliable, my coconut oil, I buy this by the pounds. And this oil um, has MCTs in it as well, so I feel like I'm getting the best of both worlds. I don't buy MCTs separate. I have it yet anyway. And coconut oil. I put a lot of this, um, I cook with this. I also put it in my coffee from time to time. I, um, I fry with it because the macadamia nut oil, the avocado oil, the uh, coconut oil, um, it, it's really resistant to high heat, so if you're doing any kind of frying or anything like that, it's really, you know, it's, it's a durable oil, and it doesn't burn and smell terrible in your house. So, anyway, and then for, like, pasta sauces, I found this one. I've been going to Mayo's, um, M-A-O's uh, pasta sauce and marinara, and it's really good. But this one, Prego said no sugar added and you know from what I can tell it has no just the sugar of the actual tomato but no additional sugar so I'm going to try that and um my go-to drink uh when I'm tired of drinking water or just making you know just regular tea I don't know if I'm saying it correct but bye it's it's so great it has if I'm reading the back of it, the way that it's sweetened is with urethanol, and it has, um, let's see, it doesn't have any, um, any food colorings. I don't like that. It also has stevia leaf extract. It has white tea extract. It has raspberry juice concentrate, has brewed tea and filtered water. And that's basically it. It has. It says it has six total carbs. It has um, five urethanol, so that's sugar alcohol carbs um, or grams of carb, which if you minus the five of the urethanol from the total carbs is one carb for one net carb for this drink. And they have many flavors. And I drink, I try to, I drink about one a day. It's like a treat to me. Um, so I do this. There's another product called Bubbly, B-U-B-L-Y. That um, has been a go-to as well. This is what it looks like. And you can get it in many different flavors. This is just carbonated water. And, you know, you can add, if you have vanilla, or you know whatever you're doing um, you can put the stevia inside of that for bubbly flavored if you're into alcoholic drinks this is a great substitute you can again you can get it in many different flavors you can put a little bit of just vanilla stevia in it you could put some flavored stevia raspberry what you know whatever you like and that is a very low carb uh, drink that you can have without feeling guilty uh, one of my other go-to's is this pure leaf uh, unsweetened black tea now you can add your sweetener to that too these are great on summer days. You know, water sometimes, you know, as much as we are supposed to drink it, sometimes water just gets to be, you know, kind of boring. So I try to keep up with different things. So I have different, mm, 
So I have different things to, you know, go with. So I don't feel like, you know, I have nothing in the house that's for me and everything for my husband. Um, so another amazing product, Zevia. This has been out on the market for quite some time. I do lemon lime. Uh, lemon lime is really good. This one, if you are having a sweet tooth, this has been my go-to in the evening time before, uh, you know, before, I don't know, after dinner. This is so good. If you pour this into a glass, and you add a little bit of heavy cream and mix it, oh my goodness, it tastes just like a root beer float. It has been the sweetness that has curbed me from going into the kitchen and grabbing something sweet that I shouldn't have. And I think this will carry me through for a long time. I love this. You don't have to have it with you know, heavy cream, but if you like root beer floats, I love them. This is, um, this is an amazing tool. And they have this in Coke and they have it in flavors like Dr. Pepper. So whatever your thing is, you know, this is, this is a really, really good go-to. Um, and so some of the other things I would say would be to plan, plan ahead. When you go to the store, you know, um, plan for a week so that you can, you know, you can prepare some meals and, or if you make just one meal, make it, make it more than one meal and store the other, put it in a stored container, stick it either in the freezer, label it, put it in the refrigerator so that when you are so busy in the morning and you had some un unexpected call, something that came up and now you don't have time to make your food and instead of saying screw it you can go in there and you've got something and keep track of your carbs i can't tell you that enough this carb manager or anyone that you're using keep track of it because a lot of people if they don't keep track of it then they never did it well and then at the end of the day you don't know where you are and then you know a lot of people are saying well, this doesn't work. Well, it does work, but you have to you have to gravitate toward um, helping yourself. You know, just every day, do something that makes the keto a little bit easier. And for me, every recipe that I make, I know that you know I can do this. I am enjoying every moment of this, and I am taking my time with this and. I'm trying to grow as a person and learn and teach as I go because if it's easier for you, you know, then it's easier to be a lifestyle. And I truly believe that this is going to be a lifestyle change for me. Everything that I make is so wonderful. Butters, you know, creaminess, um, full flavor. I have had so many years of no butter, no oils, no seasoning, no dressing, dry, 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 chicken's dry, salads are dry. Everything that you put in your mouth has no flavor. And the keto, when you're on it, you're eating amazing foods and you are feeling better. I can't tell you how much I feel one week I mean it's been a week and a few days but I can't tell you how different I already feel my my shirts used to be out to here and you know I'm I'm feeling like my shirt is you know dropping a little bit you know I know it's it's early but my pants, like elastic workout pants, you know, when I pulled them up, my stomach would flip them down and I, they'd kind of roll. And, you know, just in a week and a half, I've been standing here and normally if I moved, then my pants would roll if I were wearing something like this. And they're not, you know, and measure yourself. I measured myself a week and a half ago and you know, I know everybody is excited to do that every, 
you know, every week. And you can do whatever you want. But um, I just, I'm going to do it once a month. But I, I know that between the scale and the foods that I'm eating and keeping myself, if you know yourself and you know you have a sweet tooth, then gravitate towards some things. Make yourself some snacks or some fat bombs. Put them in the freezer so that you have them bite-sized pieces and you have something for those times. Pre-plan. Buy vegetables and meats in bulk so that you have them. It's not, ex it's not expensive if you do that because you have weeks of meals. And compare that to going out to eat every meal or uh, because you don't know what you're doing, now you do have to go out. Compare that and keto is no cost compared to going out and dining. So I'm going to end this today. Uh, I wanted to touch base yesterday a li uh, for dinner. I made, you know what, I don't even know what to call them yet. So I'm just going to call them right here for dinner. I made Mexican chicken uh, crisps. And all I did was I took chicken breast and I shredded it. It was my leftover chicken from that spatchcock chicken that I had a few days ago. Mm. And I... I shredded it and I put some salsa with no sugar and no extra things that it's not supposed to be in there. And um, I put some cheddar cheese in there. I put some cut up green onions and some cut up black olives and I took them and I just put a little ball in my hand. I put them on, some, on a baking sheet on some parchment paper and I smashed them down to where they look like little crisps or little tiny pizzas and I put a jalapeno on top of them. I do have a picture. I show you and I will get that recipe uh, up on my blog so if you guys want to use it you're more than welcome to and those things were amazing I dipped them in uh, in sour cream and a little bit of salsa and they were so fulfilling they were so low carb and they were quick and easy and I had leftovers so I'm gonna do those for uh, Probably, I don't know, either today or tomorrow for my first meal because I like to make a little extra so that I have, you know, I'm not cooking every meal. I have some backup to go by. And I have to say that, you know, when you cook like this and everything tastes so wonderful, your family is going to love it. They're going to look at you and think, why haven't you been cooking like this your whole life? Why are you, what's going on? And your family will appreciate that. I know they will, because mine is. So uh, with that, I'm going to end this video for day 10. And again, I tell you guys every time, I so appreciate that you're here with me. I love each and every one of you. I want you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please ring the bell so you never miss one of my videos. And stay tuned because I'm going to do this for the first 30 days, every day for the first 30 days. So you can see my progress, my bloopers, my reviews, everything that I'm doing. Um, and then I'll decide if I'm going to carry this on daily, bi-weekly, three times a week, once a week. I just kind of get some feedback from you guys. So anyway, I will chat with you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Look in your cupboards. Make sure you're eating things that are low carb. Make wonderful recipes. Go check out my blog at ketoalicious.com. I have tons. And I also have videos for almost each and every one of my videos. So take a peek at my videos and make a meal. Make a, an amazing meal. And then let me know in the comments how you, how you liked it or what I could do to change it. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow, day 11. Have a good rest of your day. Bye for now.